Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page one of Cozy Moments from Ciao Bella. This is a beautiful collection. So I've got my um, my papers planned out. We're ready to go. So we're going to do two flaps here. One on the bottom and one on the top. And um, as usual, I'm going to walk through a little bit of how I came up with that design. Um, looking at the 8x8 and this beautiful image, we could have split it uh, left and right or top to bottom. I decided to do top to bottom here. But you can see how they nicely laid out this um, pattern so that it's in what are essentially our quarters. And so that makes it easy to make a decision up and down or side to side. So I decided to go up and down with this one. And again, we're on page one. You're going to need two flaps. These flaps are four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. And you're going to adhere these to the top and bottom of page one. Okay. There we go. I just had some notes on here. You can see I wrote four and a half by eleven. Let's see. How did I do? Just want to make sure my pages are even. Okay, it looks good. Okay, so for the bottom, this is the bottom half of the print. I'm going to apply that here. And this is going to go on the top. Like so. Um, glue, yeah. Now you'll see, um, because they're both uh, four and a half, um, there's a slight overlap of these two. very slight uh, maybe an eighth of an inch or less so there is a little bit of a collision but I'm going to show you how we're going to keep it all closed and it will help for anybody who's looking at the album opening and closing the flaps the order they need to go back down in and that'll all make a lot more sense in a minute <clears throat> Oops, I forgot. I need a, I need a magnet. <laughs> I need a magnet. So we need to uh, adhere the top one first. Sorry about that, guys. It happens. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. I'm using mahogany powder puff to ink my edges. And of course, this is our glitter glue in one of the oldest bottles I own. It gets softer over time and easier to, to pinch, so I, I save them as long as, as I can. So this is the top, top down, which means from my perspective, it's actually upside down at the moment until I turn it around. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, so that is the top. The top is gonna hold our magnet, which I've already prepared. So this is a cut apart. And then I've already placed a magnet behind this backing, and this is the magnet that's going to get adhered here. So I'm going to put this in place, and then we will place the magnet. And I don't want it centered. You can center it if you want, but I think I liked it a little bit off to the side. When you look at the image, I wanted to get this further away from the deer into this kind of empty space, if that makes sense. <clears throat> So this is going to get glued directly here. I'm going to place this down for reference so that I can see where kind of I want it. So that looks good to me. Right about there. Now I just need to make sure 
that my magnet is completely exposed. So I'm going to nudge it down a little bit. Okay. Now keep in mind, the real magnet's already here. This is the magnet that's going to go on the down flap. So I'm going to straighten that out. You can see it's quite crooked, so I'm just going to straighten it out a little. Okay. Here we go. It's not perfectly rectangular just because the, the cut apart wasn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's do this again. Oops. I'm the tape is sticking to me instead of to the magnet. See if I can't get them to. Nope, it doesn't want to release, so I'm gonna <clears throat> use some more tape. <clears throat> right down on top of that tape. I'm afraid to pull it off, so I'm gonna undo. So I'm gonna have to pause and get back to you guys in just a second. Sorry about that. All right, while I was away, I got my magnet in and I went ahead and put the paper down. So it's all in now. So the back side, um, I chose the, I guess it's cotton balls, but I'm really not sure because that does not look like a cotton plant to me. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, um, <clears throat> somebody will tell me. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these in. So if you don't care for the cut apart that I chose, um, you can use really just anything, um, but do check the size of your magnet against the size of 
the uh, cut apart that you're going to use and make sure that your magnet's going to be fully exposed after you adhere it uh, to the flap. That's all. That's the only magic there, if you want to call it that. Mm. Okay, so this, I can't remember if I trimmed it, but it looks like I did. Looks like I did, but I haven't linked it. <clears throat> what I try to do is once I trim it, I ink it, and that way I don't have to keep checking. <laughs> so usually if it is not inked, it's because it hasn't been trimmed, but in this case I was off. But it's just a good technique um, to save you some time of going back and forth to ink, trim, ink, trim. <clears throat> Otherwise the trim is so slight because um, I'm only taking, you know, a sixteenth off each side, it's really hard to tell without putting it up against a ruler or into your album to dry fit. <clears throat> so, yeah. and clearly easy to put some photos down here <clears throat> and still feature this cute little bunny. Now I have some cut aparts here and I had mentioned that I want to use my clock die <clears throat> as kind of a feature in some of these. So I think I'm going to put it up here. Now, <clears throat> let me show you. Let me get uh, paper. I'm going to trim it down and kind of show you what, what's going on in my mind as far as the placement. So this is going to be a 6x4, which would be a standard size photograph right so it would look something like this you'd have to nudge it around to keep this exposed the other option would be to place it uh, on top like so and crop this down just a little bit and like that so I I think I'm gonna go in this direction placing these two little elements down here on the bottom and Again, these are cut aparts, and I can't tell you what it's from. I think it's from the A4. <clears throat> I'm just going to do the corner so it's easy to tuck your photo under it. <clears throat> and then again, if you use the dies, you can cover up part of it or you can just cut off at a diagonal but I just like that pop of white it's uh, kind of speaking to me so I think I'm going to actually instead of adhere it I'm going to tuck it in here uh, to be used once I figure out how I'm going to lay out my photos but I definitely think adding that pop of white helps you could also add the pop of white by um, placing these on white cardstock uh, to make them jump off the page a little bit more. And I might do that on a different page. So this is going to go down first because the magnet's in here. So there it is. There is our newly completed page one with a couple little embellishments inside. Okay, I'll be back soon with page two. <laughs>